leaving the homestead to go to Costco and I'm gonna take you guys with me. Let's go. Okay, it's a 35 minute drive from my house to Costco, but we are here and I'm really excited to go in and get some shopping done. Now this is not a stock up for the week or for the month shopping trip. This is a targeted trip to get some specific staples that we buy from Costco. We actually don't grocery shop like that anymore where we go and we buy a bunch of stuff for like a week um, unless we're refilling the pantry. So, um, you know, if we shop in the pantry for a week, sometimes we'll go ahead and get you know, a week supply. We usually try to do it by like a month um, so that we're not going to the grocery store all the time. But today I realized I was out of quite a few things uh, that we get from Costco, not out of, but low on, low enough on that I don't want to get any lower. So um, we have a Costco near us now and that's very exciting. So I came today and I'm going to show you what I'm going to grab. So because my husband and I usually shop together, I just realized that I don't actually have a Costco card anymore. He has the card. I'm on the membership. So my first adventure is I get to go get a new card. That only took like a minute and a half, so. Okay, the number one thing that I came here for and that we always love to get is their Kirkland's organic, it's not organic, the Kirkland's grass-fed butter. It is so rich, so delicious, and the price cannot be beat. I'm getting an entire case of butter today, which is 30 pounds of butter, and it'll cost about $150. These organic gluten-free ramen bricks are really, really good. They're only $10 a bag, and it is 24 servings per bag. Totally worth the price. Really, really delicious, and a great alternative to using gluten noodles for ramen. So I'm getting really self-conscious recording in front of people in the store. And so I'm just gonna shop and show you guys at home what I grabbed. getting a few more things than I thought I was gonna get but they just have so many amazing organic options that I couldn't help myself all right I just made it home and I'm gonna show you my haul normally I would lay this out on the island and it would be all kinds of pretty but I am currently recipe testing and the island is not cleared off so let's go over it we've got maple syrup we use this in place of sugar in almost every single thing that we eat and um, we even turn it into powdered sugar for various things so if you want the recipe for how to turn maple syrup into powdered sugar definitely go to my blog modernhomestead.com and look for that look for that powdered maple sugar um, i also got some of these these are paleo they're not organic but the ingredients are really clean soy free wheat free all that stuff really really good then i got some organic peanut butter they also have organic almond butter if you don't like peanut butter, um, which is their almond butter is really, really good too. And I got some of these sprouted organic pumpkin seeds. I think they're delicious. I think they'd be really great on salads or just by themselves. Um, so I enjoyed these. I hadn't had them before. Then of course, they also had organic Rotel, which I had to get being a Texan. Rotel is a sta staple around here, especially for queso. And so I got some of that to make um, queso from scratch with the authentic Rotel flavor in there. They had some organic uh, pumpkin and I grabbed some of that. We do grow our own pumpkins and butternut squash and puree them and freeze them or freeze dry them but I also like to have some cans on hand uh, as well. The organic uh, tomato paste. I've talked about this before. I talked about this in my pantry tour. I really like the Kirkland organic tomato paste. It's really cheap 
but very high quality, really, really good. And then the last thing that I got, which is really the thing that I went for, was this Kirkland's grass-fed butter. It is not organic, but it is grass-fed, and it's really delicious, very dark golden color, and the price is really unbelievable, $10 for two pounds of butter. It's a great deal. So there you go. I hope you found a few things that you can grab at Costco to help round out your organic pantry. Um, whether you're growing your own food or not, there are always going to be a few things that you can't grow um, just due to different climates and stuff like that. So it's nice to have places that you know that you can go for high quality ingredients and Costco is one of those places. We have a lot of other videos on the channel for you to check out, lots of recipes from scratch, cooking, um, food preservation, and so much more. Be sure to check those out. I'll link a few here on the side that are the most popular for you to start with. Please subscribe to our channel and follow us for more.